Innovative Farmers, it's a UK-wide programme that brings together groups of farmers who've got a topic that they're interested in finding out more about on their farm. So we help them by linking them up with a researcher to carry out a trial. Hot water seed treatment proves effective in the lab, but what the team here at Riverford want to look at is whether they can correlate that reduction of pathogens on the seeds to a reduction of foliar disease in the field. This is where the Swiss chard is, the next one that we're going to be sampling. That's the untreated bed and then we've got these beds uh, treated. So we'll basically pick out of these two beds. Having disease on the leaves, for example, with the chard, it reduces our yield quite significantly. But probably the biggest effect actually is the labour of harvesting. I mean, normally the guys can pick at 18 to 20 kilos an hour, but I mean, if that begins to plummet down to six to eight kilos an hour, that the crop is barely viable at that point. We're basically separating the chard into saleable chard, unsaleable chard because of other defects, and spotty chard. And then we're analysing that data. We found that the hot water treatment has virtually eliminated disease within the chard. In terms of that connection between the farmers and the researchers, both with their different sets of experiences and skills and expertise, coming together actually improves the research process. I think farmers have often got the answers. They have techniques that they've learned for generations. And this is where innovative farmers is really helping because it's actually bringing those structures and disciplines in and helping farmers to do it in a proper way, which then you can actually look back and learn from it. You know, label the sample. In the end, fitting in trials that also fit into the commercial practice means that those new practices are likely to be implemented in the future. Conventional farmers are facing a lot of challenges as well as certain seed treatments are being taken away. Our attitude has always been we enjoy sharing knowledge with all growers and we've enjoyed being part of it to be honest. It's been a good, good thing to be involved with.